All right, so here is the uh, Klein Tool rechargeable thermal imager. I've already taken it out of its package um, to get it charged and, you know, ready for us to take a test on a little bit later. But uh, this is what the package looks like. See all these specs there. But, uh, looks like you can use a micro USD. But let's take a look at the actual product here. Here it is. To be honest with you, it looks pretty nice to me. It's pretty, uh, pretty small, pretty thin. At first, I thought this was a magnet, but it's actually the lens. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty nice. You got uh, your power button up here, camera button up here. And it looks like underneath here is your SD port and your charge port on the other side. I don't really like this uh, plastic thing because it it's kind of a pain, to be honest with you. But it is what it is. But let's turn this on. It does take quick second to load up go now right now it's just pointing down at the table here but we'll take a look uh, inside of a uh, panel here shortly I'm not 100% too sh sure what these uh, buttons do I'm sure if I take a photo up here, oh, can't do it now unless you have the SD card, that would make sense. But uh, yeah, this is what it this is what it looks like. I'm gonna turn it off here and then uh, we're gonna go set up inside of a panel. All right. Okay, here I am. I'm scanning a uh, outlet here that I know has no amperage going through it. So nothing really here should be generating heat, and sure enough, there is nothing. And then we come onto the other side of the kitchen that of an outlet that I know is pulling something. You can see that it is, uh, it is heating up. So just another way to tell if uh, if current is going through stuff. All right, here we are at my house's panel here. You know, we have to be looking pretty clean in here. But I do know there is a hot spot going on here. Um, I've been aware of it. But let's see if this uh, guy can pick it up. And yep, sure enough, it does. Let's see if we can figure out exactly which breaker it is. So, yep. Looks like it's this top one right here. That one should be labeled my outside uh, outlets. Let's see if we can get a reading on exactly how hot it is. 86 degrees Fahrenheit. It's not too bad. Definitely hotter than everything else. Um, barely use any power inside the house at all. Oh. Looks like you gotta move real slow in order to... Uh, capture everything but let's uh, let me run around the house see if we can find any uh, other hot spots or cold spots so I found us uh, a real hot spot here but it does pick them up that far away sitting around 80 degrees and we pan up here, we see in the sun roof. It is a color difference, or a temperature difference. So far, this thing works pretty well. Let's see if we can pick the dog back up. Oh, there he is. Look at that. Now why did I buy this? This tool was $300, so it was a pretty hefty buy, but 
I bought this because I think it can provide me a lot of information on uh, some of the jobs I, I go out and do. Um, and I definitely think it can uh, earn me a little bit more money than uh, that $300 price tag. My, uh, my plan is to uh, use this to scan some panels, see if there is any overwhelmingly hot spots. Uh, and I would be doing that during a panel inspection which I charge for about $150. I would take this guy, scan the whole thing, see if there's any hot spots or any breakers that could be on the brink of failure. Um, or maybe, you know, if there's any hot spots going on in the wall uh, with the any electrical wires, see if there's anything holding anything up. Um, I definitely think it's a good buy. It was either this one or the one that attaches to my phone, um, but I decided to go with this one because uh, I, I really like the rechargeability of it, and it's just a little bit larger, so it's less likely for me to lose it, and it was only for $50 more, um, which, you know, I get all of this, and so far, I really like it. Um, so, that being said, this tool does now mean I can provide another service to uh, my customers um, and that's all in the inspection or panel inspection and you know the other things that are included in that panel inspection is me torquing down any of the other uh, connections going on breakers um, any loose breakers tying those up the wires go into the breakers um, and then your neutral and ground bars tying those all up make sure None of those are loose, causing any excess heat or any other um, connectivity issues. But uh, I, I'm excited with this guy. It also came with a nice little case. It's going to fit perfectly right inside my toolbox with all my other client tools.